Well, here we are driving up the amazing Outdoors 22 21, depends which way you look at it. Amazing hairpins up to the top of the mountain. This is the night before the stage. And look at this this is Dutch Corner, where thousands and thousands of Dutch fans gather the night before the race. They know how to party. Well, here we are on the amazing Alpe d'Huez, Tour de France, 2011. Me and Dougie, Dougie's on camera, say hello, Dougie. Hello. Yes, uh, what an amazing day. There's about half a million people on the mountain here. 21 of the most evil bends. It's knackering, even just walking up it, let alone on a bike. We're three or four hours away uh, from the, uh, the leaders actually coming through on what will be a really, really wicked stage today. So uh, will we see cabs struggling? Who knows? <laughs> From early in the morning until the race passes through, hundreds and hundreds of cyclists, amateur ones, they try and get up out Duez and God knows how long it takes them. Uh, not me, thank you. We went in a car. Look at that. That's got to hurt them car hubs. Ooh. Now, I did some stills first of the leaders coming through before I switched to video mode. And here we are, the first two or three have gone through. These are all the uh, team cars that come through with the spare bikes. And they're just uh, somebody from the Sky team. So quick, I can't even see who it was. But the speed they come up, and they'd already been up the Col de Galibier earlier that day. People chase after them, how they don't crash into the spectators, I don't know. And then you look down the hairpin, there's another group coming in by now. The peloton had just disappeared. They were just coming in in dribs and drabs and just the most amazing, amazing day and a tribute to these cyclists. They are the fittest guys in the world. Now they use.